In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, Yesterday, of course, as you know, April 24th was Armenian Genocide Martyrs Day. And this Thursday, April 22nd, was Earth Day. Two commemorations which probably appear to have nothing in common except the coincidence of their dates being two days apart. But today in church is Garmir Kiraki, Red Sunday, which predates both of those by about a thousand years, and it connects our stewardship of the earth with God's stewardship of his beloved sons and daughters. Let's start with the stewardship of the earth. The Armenian church, you may not know this, and our people have always practiced a very ecological form of Christianity. And first and foremost, this is just because we're a people who have worked the earth for millennia. It's in our blood, it's in our bones. That's why in church we bless grapes in the beginning of the harvest. We bless pomegranates in winter. We have rituals for blessing salt and livestock offerings to the church. And most scholars actually believe that the name for today's Feast of Red Sunday originates simply from observing nature at this time in Armenia. If you go there, you'll see fields stretching as far as the eye can see of red wild flowers, hence Red Sunday. And our ancestors certainly saw this connection between the yearly renewal of the land in spring and the Easter renewal of new life in Christ. Go also to Armenia any time of year and you'll learn something about reusing and recycling that any Earth Day environmentalist would be proud of. When I lived in Armenia, I was moved about how little was wasted. My neighbor brought her groceries home in cellophane bags and then she hung them up on the line after washing them to dry and to reuse. My neighbors even recycled uh, cow dung. It's called atar in Armenian. They're also affectionately called village brownies because you lay them out in these very long slabs, deep slabs, and score them into squares and let them dry out under the sun and then use them to warm your house in the winter. Even our churches in Armenia are experienced recyclers. They make beeswax candles from local beekeepers' leftovers, and then they recycle the stubs into, again, candles. So our church does indeed believe in reusing and recycling and has been earth-friendly for over 1,700 years, but we also believe in recycling on a much deeper level level which goes to the heart of what it means to be Armenian Christian, Orthodox Christians. Because we don't just recycle things, we repurpose them. These vestments I'm wearing belong to another priest and were in a drawer for the moths. But the Kochunyan family lovingly resewed and gifted these vestments for renewed purpose. The grand piano in our hall was gifted to us by a man who lost his wife and the player of that piano, and it was collecting dust. He lovingly donated it to our church, and today Haik Yakubian will bring it to renewed life with genocide music of remembrance. Taking things which are seen to have little or no value and transforming them into something useful and valuable is a special kind of recycling. We usually call it redemption. And it's something our Lord has been doing all along. Only God does it not just with things, but with people too. He took a spite-filled Jesus hater and Saul and turned him, thrown away like trash by their own Ottoman government, bringing us to new life and prosperity in the diaspora and independent Armenia. Here now, we see the connection between our stewardship of God's creation and God's loving stewardship of his beloved sons and daughters, us. 
And Jesus reminds us of this in today's gospel reading from John. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. The Armenian Church's recycling program may begin with cardboard boxes and candles, but it extends and embraces all of God's beloved children and on a cosmic scale. We Armenian Orthodox Christians have known this for a long time. And at our best, we've participated in God's invitation to redeem and repurpose all people and all things in his glorious name. You can see this in a 1,500-year-old prayer in your pew books, which we say each week, which captures this redemptive spirit of Red Sunday. Right before Holy Communion, the priest offers this prayer for himself and on behalf of of all of God's people. Lord, impress upon us the graces of your Holy Spirit as you did upon the holy apostles who tasted it and became cleansers of the entire earth. In this way, the Armenian church has always been the holy place of repurposing and redemption for God's creation and his beloved sons and daughters. And as a people, When we were lost and of no use to any power of the world, God remade us anew. And as beloved sons and daughters, individually, we offer ourselves to God each week in prayer, offering back our tired and sinful selves. We're graced with communion with God. And so on this Red Sunday, and on every Sunday, he recycles and repurposes us for a new week inspired to do his will and his work, and as his apostles to become cleansers of the entire earth, now and always, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The time has 